Today I'm going to tell you a little about a little bit about my favorite sport, roller derby. I'm going to start with uh, the history of roller derby, and I'll go on to the grassroots revival and a little bit about the actual game. Roller derby was started in the 1920s. Uh, it was basically uh, it was called transcontinental roller derby, and it was a simulation um, uh, race around the country. They went uh, 3,000 miles. And to give you an idea, 27 laps is approximately a mile. So this lasted for a long time. Um, the team that was in the lead actually won. It was in the lead for 11 days. And it was started by Leo Seltzer. And they did not do pads. Leo put together several leagues. Uh, well, several teams. He did about five teams uh, of ten players that toured across the country, and they um, they were billed as the villains and as the heroes. And there were again about 50 people. And tragically, in 1937, there was a bus crash that killed about 20 players, 20 performers. He was able to put the league back together. And in the 40s, it started to be uh, televised. First on CBS, and then on ABC. In the 1960s, he gave control to his son, Jerry. And Jerry really took roller derby uh, to popularity. And he started requiring helmets. And in 1969, pop uh, popularity reached 15 million views. But in 1973, Derby died. There were a couple attempts of revival in the 80s and the 90s, but nothing caught on until the early 2000s, thanks to the Texas Roller Girls. They established their league in 2003, and then they established Wolf Death in 2004, and that's basically the NFL uh, Roller Derby, the Women's Flat Track Derby Association. We even have our own convention, RollerCon is in Las Vegas. It was started in 2005, and it's a yearly convention, and I've got a couple of friends that are going this year. We have our own motion picture. Whip It came out in 2009, starring Ellen Page and Drew Barrymore. That's what got my attention for roller derby. And we have a World Cup, and the Gotham Roller Girls won the World Cup last year. To play roller derby, there are Three main positions, you have the jammer, who's identified by the star on their head. You have the blocker, who are generally the thicker girls. Uh, the jammers are usually the thinner girls because it's a little easier to get through. Um, but that's not a try to, that's not a set fast rule. You can play whatever position you want to play. There is also the pivot, who's the one with the star or the uh, stripe on their head. These are called panties. Uh, the jammer is able to pass her panty to the pivot if she can't get through the line, but the pivot is the only person that she can pass to. To play a game of roller derby, you also need reps, <laughs> a minimum of three and a maximum of seven. You also need NSOs, who is like the scorekeeper and uh, the penalty trackers. So, when you play roller derby, you go counterclockwise, and the jammers are trying to get through the blockers. There's four blockers on each team, and again, one is a pivot that takes the panty. If you commit a foul, you will wind up in the penalty box. <laughs> get in the penalty box for 30 seconds. Uh, a way that you can get put in the penalty box would be hitting in the improper zones, which would be below this line above this line, this would be a low block, and that's a high block. You can also do it with elbows. Another major penalty that we have is cutting the track, the track cut, and that is if you're knocked out of the game and you come in ahead of the person that knocked you out, that's an illegal move. So luckily, we have the, the Molly Roger Roller Girls, which is the team that I'm a member of. Some of my favorite players, I've showed this picture before, but it's one of my favorite. This is Snap Happy, and she is taking a whip from Sugar and Spike. We also have 
Super Pie, and she is an up-and-comer. She got the Rising Star Award at our recent award ceremony. We practice at Galaxy Skateway on the Royal Road, and we play our bats at the Palm Bay Rec Center. And we also have a fresh meet group. Um, this is basically the newer players um, that are all learning how to skate. So I hope that I have informed you enough on the Rainbow Derby that you would like to either be recruited, be the or um, come to see a game. And I've got some schedules for everybody. Thank you.